This is Radio Nepal. I'm Kaushal Ghimide with the news. The headlines first. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda in Italy's capital Rome to attend the United Nations Food Systems Summit. Nepal Rashtra Bank unveils monetary policy for current fiscal year. Targets to limit inflation at 6.5%. Visiting Chinese Communist Party delegation led by Politburo member Yuan Jiachun and Maoist Center's leaders discuss inter-party relations and at least 26 people killed in flooding in Afghanistan. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda is in Italy's capital Rome to attend the United Nations Food System Summit stock taking moment to be held starting from today to 26th of July. Nepal's ambassador to Austria Bharat Kumar Regmi and the officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Italy welcomed the Prime Minister in Rome upon reaching there. Prime Minister is scheduled to address the official opening session of the summit today in the capacity of the chair of the LDC group including the plenary sessions on the agenda of school meals and food system transformation in practice on the sidelines of the event the prime minister will hold bilateral meetings with the high level dignitaries of the UN system including the director general of the food and agriculture organization the executive director of the world food program and president of the international fund for agricultural development among others Prime Minister Dahal will also interact with the Nepali community in Italy to be organized by the Non-Resident Nepali Association Italy on the 25th of July that is tomorrow. The Prime Minister will arrive back home on the 28th of July. A significant meeting took place in Kathmandu yesterday evening as Politburo member of the Chinese Communist Party Yuan Chiachun led a delegation from China to meet with the leaders of the Communist Party of Nepal Maui Center. The discussions revolved around various aspects of the Communist Parties in both countries, focusing on cooperation and strengthening bilateral ties. During the meeting, CPN Maui Center leaders expressed gratitude for China's valuable support in Nepal's development initiatives and urged further collaboration in other critical areas. Both sides emphasized the importance of enhancing relations between the two parties, governments and their respective citizens, according to the secretary of CPN Maui Center, Dina Nath Sharma, who was also present during the meeting. An essential point of the discussion during the meeting was Nepal's interest in learning from China's successful socialist model as the Maui Center leaders emphasized the need for China's continued support in Nepal's journey towards socialism. The CPN Maui Center leaders emphasized that China's assistance would pay would play a pivotal role in advancing the prosperity of Nepal particularly under the leadership of Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda. The visiting Chinese delegation led by Yuan assured the Maui Center of China's commitment to providing continued assistance to Nepal in the future. Both the parties underscored the significance of consolidating government to government, party to party and people to people relations between the two nations. The high level meeting was attended by acting chairperson of CPN Maui Center and deputy prime minister Narin Gajish Rasta, vice chairperson Krishna Bahadur Mahara, Agni Sapkota and general secretary Dev Gurung among other prominent leaders. Similarly, Yuan held a courtesy call on President Ramchandra Paudil at the office of the President Sitan Nivas yesterday. Issuing a statement, the office of the President said the President and the Communist Party lead of China's leader discussed matters of bilateral ties, mutual welfare and common interest. Likewise, leader Yuan also held a virtual meeting with Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda yesterday itself. Nepal Rashtra Bank has unveiled the monetary policy for the current fiscal year 2023-24. It has set a target of limiting the inflation at 6.5% by preventing pressure on prices by the monetary expansion. 
Nepal Rashtra Bank Governor Mahaprasad Adhikari said the monetary policy had determined its policy rates being based on the capacity of the foreign exchange reserves to cover imports and the target annual inflation rate. The structure and targets of the new monetary policy seek to maintain the foreign exchange reserve at a self at a level sufficient to cover the anticipated imports of goods and services at least for seven months. He also said independent study was being carried out to assess the utilization of soft loans. He warned that the that the spared interest would be collected if someone was found misusing the soft loan. The monetary policy targets to keep interbank interest rates within the interest corridor by operating and promoting open market operations based on the position of the operating target. The central bank has accorded priority to shift the fiscal resources to the productive sector in line with the target of achieving the targeted economic growth rate. The central bank will offer additional facilitation in the digital payments in a bid to prevent financial anomalies and facilitate revenue collection. Federal Parliament and Province Assemblies Speakers and Deputy Speakers have pledged to contribute for making the operation of parliamentary affairs more transparent, pro-people, effective and accountable. The two-day gathering of the Speaker of House of Representatives, National Assembly Chair, House of Representatives, Deputy Speaker, National Assembly Vice Chairperson, and Speakers and Deputy Speakers of Province Assemblies held in Chandragiri of Kathmandu issued a 12-point conclusion yesterday. They agreed on creating an atmosphere that safeguards the province parliament from undue influence or interference from the central government. The meeting agreed to go through needs, assessments and and feasibility studies as part of the law formation process. You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin. Time for a short break now. You're listening to Radio Nepal's 8 a.m. English News Bulletin. Now on to some international updates. The death toll from devastating flash floods triggered by torrential rains in central Afghanistan has surged to 26, with more than 40 people reported missing. The floods have wreaked havoc in the region, causing extensive damage to property and farmland. The situation remains critical, prompting an urgent response from the government to provide aid to the main disaster zone in the Jalriz district of the Maidan Wardak province. Despite being situated on the western edge of the Asian monsoon footprint, Afghanistan experiences regular flash floods during the wet season as heavy rain surges through dry riverbeds. The ruling Cambodian People's Party of Prime Minister Samdek Teko Hun Sen has claimed a landslide victory in Sunday's general election. Now, the general weather forecast for the country for today, according to the Meteorological Forecasting Division, the weather will be partly to generally cloudy throughout the country. Light to moderate rain with thunder and lightning is likely to occur at a few places of the hilly regions and at one or two places of the rest of the country. With this, we have almost come to the end of this news bulletin. But before wrapping up, let's have a reminder of the headlines once again. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda in Italy's capital Rome to attend the United Nations Food System Summit. Nepal Rashtra Bank unveils monetary policy for current fiscal year targets to limit inflation at 6.5%. Visiting Chinese Communist Party delegation led by Politburo member Yuan Chia-chun and Maoist Center's leaders discuss inter-party relations. And at least 26 people killed in flooding in Afghanistan. 
Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day.